it's, it's really, really nice. And nice people come to me all the time, and they're just amazing. They think like I came yesterday, uh, but uh, too long ago to live here. But of course, not true. I've been here for a while, and um, and I don't know what's uh, what fascinates me about uh, London is people's bathrooms. Really, you can find amazing things there. Uh, do you clean your bathroom, sir? No. Who does it for you then? Do you have a bathroom? Um, yes. Well, I have a very strange landlady. She cleans it like once a month. You have a landlady? Yeah. Wow. So that's good. Is she Polish? Um, <laughs> no, she's not Polish. No. Okay. Well, you are very lucky though. But, um, you know, uh, I think. Do you live with nine more people in the house? Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> no, because I do. Uh, but, you know, <laughs> in my bedroom, uh, there is nine Polish people. Uh, but um, it's fine. You have a rota for the bed, so everything is nice. There's someone else sleeping in the bed. Uh, anyway, uh, that's all fine. I, you know, also, um, I'm a bit uh, amazed that Poland uh, is now in the, one of the is one of the finalists in Oscars. Uh, we could get an Oscar for Ida. Have you seen this film yet? I think <laughs> I, don't, I don't want to watch it because it's politically incorrect, but I might do. However, I think we would, should have really awards for a cleaning like this. Because that would be amazing to be called to the stage for Magda, the cleaning lady, for the astonished and the most clean bathroom. You know, I just think that we just, uh, that is something fresh, something fresh there, obviously. I, I love being in UK because actually what I love in this country is when you go and you want to uh, buy bleach, you actually can get two, two bleach, two bleach is in price of one water. Uh, it's, bleach is cheaper than water. And I think uh, that's just really amazing because when I was getting ready for bleaching, uh, for cleaning competitions, and believe me, they are very tough. Like one Russian woman, she made me fall over, and I was really, really awkward. But I, I just made her to smell too much bleach, and I won. <laughs> you have to cheat. I mean, come on. The same is again in the comedy competitions. They always cheat. Uh, uh, but um, what else I can tell you about me? Uh, you know, I like. You probably think it's like, okay. You are a clean lady and. Uh, why do you take our jobs uh, on the comedy stage? Uh, because um, I just think, you know, it's quite cool to lead a double life. And, uh, you know, it does not give me that much excitement. <laughs> but on the other hand, it's like, uh, you know, in the Breaking Bad. Anyone watch? It's like me and Walter White, we both like to work with chemicals. And it's just um, one of the things I really like to do. And believe me, it's just... I can't get over it, you get over it, so. Um, yes, and you know, my dream job, of course, is maybe one day to quit clean and just become a fashion designer. And I would like to design clothes for alcoholics. And because, um, don't, get me, don't get offense, I don't think you need it. I mean, like, you need new clothes or something. Uh, but um, people say, oh, weird things. So, like, in Poland, you, you drink a lot. You just have this vodka, vodka for breakfast, uh, dinner, whatever, vodka, vodka, vodka. Uh, even, like, actually here, it's the same. Like, you look at the lunchtime and, like, everybody's in the bath. So I just thought, uh, how could that be if I just actually meet a person, uh, you know, and uh, if you like to drink, uh, like, uh, rosé, you would be dressed up as the rosé glass. Or if you would like Corona lime, you're going to have, like, a lime in your hat or something. But I'm working on it, and I just think it would be really cool, because uh, we, we are what we drink. So uh, let's get to the facts. Uh, but I'm also, like, running a website for myself. And if you have any problems with cleaning or other problems with your uh, dating website as well, uh, because everybody was on the dating website, have, I will ask maybe different questions. Uh, who was not on the dating page ever, ever? Hands up. Oh my god, only the ads I can see. <laughs> oh no, front as well. You see, I've been there, but I mean, they, they were asking me different questions, like, do you think you're fat? Uh, I, don't, I don't know, like, I will click, you know, whatever. But um, but happily now, I uh, kind of have a boyfriend here, like here, and, uh, <laughs> and it's always good because um, uh, Josef really wants me to go back to Poland. Uh, but I don't want to. We had this agreement. I came here 
to earn the money for his new supermarket with alcohol. He didn't want to shop. He just said, we will open like Tesco with beetroots and alcohol. And I just said, you know, I don't really think uh, we could do this because um, I don't, I don't want to open the shop, but, um, but I don't want to go back either. And he keeps calling me and he keeps asking me, why, why don't you... Uh, why don't you go back? I will sell the cow, I will sell the sheep, I will, I will sell the goat, and then, you know, you're not going to be embarrassed uh, anymore by me. But I, I just don't really, because it's so, my life here is like a big extravaganza, you know. Uh, so, um, I just, I just don't, really, don't really want to go back. Um, uh, but uh, I just want to say that um, you've been really lovely, and maybe you have questions to me, because I have to go, I think, because... Uh, you know, my time is, is very priceless. Uh, <laughs> I have to clean, to clean few bathrooms. Uh, but is anybody, does anybody want to ask me something before I leave? Yes. What was your biggest uh, extravaganza moment here? Uh, oh my god. I, mean, <laughs> I don't want to say about flashing the toilet. No. Uh, but I think, uh, because, you see, uh, <laughs> but I, I just want to say that uh, I think biggest extravaganza moment was when uh, actually I was competing with one lady, but that was a drag queen, and she won the uh, gaming competition. And I just thought, oh my god, why is this? Uh, why, why, did, why is there a drag queen? But we were in Soho, <laughs> in Madame Jojo. So, uh, so I should explain that, but I didn't really know it was Madame Jojo. I was quite surprised that it was just a show. Uh, so yes. Uh, you've been absolutely lovely, not much laughs, but I think maybe because it, it's a Monday night and everybody is quite chilled out and I speak too fast. Uh, but um, you've been absolutely lovely. Can I have my... Uh, <laughs>